Li Jiehua, a Chinese citizen journalist, posted a video on social media on April 22nd. It's his first video since going missing in Wuhan nearly two months ago. He went to Wuhan in February to report on what he saw there. On February 26th, he was arrested by police. In his latest video, he described what happened to him since then. He first was chased by a car of unknown people. He posted this live on social media. He was then taken away by police and accused of disrupting public order. He stayed overnight at the police station. 我坐在那张铁凳子之上和很多位来询问我的警官交流了多次 the police then told him that he will not be punished. But because he had been in a virus hotspot, he had to be quarantined in Wuhan for 14 days. Once he arrived at the quarantine, his phone and electronic devices were taken away. Lee didn't criticize the authorities in the video. One netizen commenting, this video looks like a hostage reading a manuscript, but as long as you're safe, it's good. Sweden's second largest city, Gothenburg, is canceling its sister city relationship with Shanghai. The two have been tied for 34 years. It comes after Sweden shut down all Confucius institutes in the country, the first European state to do so. There's a new movement growing in Italy of people wanting to sue the Chinese regime for the pandemic. An online petition just launched lets Italians affected by the virus seek compensation from Beijing. The head of the organization behind the movement, One Europe, estimates over 500,000 will sign, and the compensation sought could exceed 100 billion euros. And a popular hotel in the Italian Alps is also suing China for damages. It says China failed to inform the WHO in a timely manner, causing the pandemic to spiral out of control. The hotel was fully booked for the ski season, but suffered devastating losses as all hotels were forced to close on March 12th. This follows lawsuits from India and some U.S. states. British think tank Henry Jackson Society published a 44-page report analyzing the legal basis for suing Beijing over the virus.